Hello, in this video we will learn more about sound blocks. All sound blocks are color coded purple. When you choose a sprite like costumes, it also comes with some sound files of its own. If you go to sound tab, you will see the sounds available on the left pane. You can add more sounds by pressing on choose a sound button on the left bottom. You can choose from a library, record sound, let scratch choose and surprise you or upload a sound file. We will add couple of sound files as additional options for us to use. Now when you go back to code tab, you can first pick any event on which you want the sound to be played. Let's say you want the sound to be played when the sprite is clicked. Then let's drag that event on our scripts pane. Now from sound, we will select play sound until done command and add it to our script. You will see there is a drop down and you can select from any of the sounds which are available. Now when you click on the sprite, it plays the sound. You can also use the start sound command. The only difference between the two is that in start sound, it moves on to execute the next command in the script immediately after starting the sound. Now let's try to add volume and pitch change to our script. What we will try to add is that when up arrow is pressed on the keyboard, our volume should go up and when down arrow is pressed, our volume should go down. So first from the events, we will select when key pressed command. Here we will select down arrow from the drop down and then add change volume by minus 10. To add another event to increase the volume, we will add another key pressed command and select up arrow. Then we will add change volume by plus 10. Now if you try pressing up arrow, it will increase the volume and down arrow will decrease the volume. Now when you click on the sprite, you will see the volume difference. Now how about doing the same with the pitch. We will add that when we press the right arrow, the pitch should increase and when we press the left arrow, the pitch should decrease. We'll go back again to events and select two key press commands, one for the right and other for the left. Below these, we will add the change pitch effect command, one in positive and one in negative. Now if you change the pitch with arrow command, and then click on the sprite. You will hear the pitch has changed. You will also note that the sprite does not come back to its original volume and pitch automatically even if you click on the green flag. For this you can write a script using the hat block when green flag press and add from the sound command set volume to 100% and set effect to 100. Now whenever you click on the green flag, your sprite will restore to standard volume and pitch and your script is reset. So you see a sprite can have multiple scripts associated with it with different trigger points. In our next video, we'll learn about how to pass messages between the sprites.